What's up everybody, it's CPK here, and I am here to play a brand new scary game that I have discovered via the internet. It is called Heritage, I'm not entirely sure what it entails, I know it's a scary game, or it's supposed to give you like, intense cheers. Um, so yeah, and it's got some puzzle aspects and stuff, so let's get straight into it. Why is it that we always hear childhood memories when we lost someone? Why those memories become painful nightmares when we lost someone? That is how I'm feeling, yearning those beautiful moments lived in her house, a woman so wise, wisdom is only kept in my memory. After she passed away three days ago, it's time to abandon these confusing thoughts and return to the place of her house so full of memories and knowledge questions, perhaps I will finally find inner peace. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. I think the game is based around this woman who goes back to her grandma's house after her grandma dies. Okay, I know from grandma, press E to accept. I'm, pre I'm press D. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Why can't I pick these things up? How do I get my inventory up? Hold on. There was no, like, there's no. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right. Yeah, there was no, like, instructions. So I don't actually know how I'm supposed to do. See, one of the things that I like about it is... Oh. Okay, now I've got a kettle. Why is it some sort of... Oh, it's a little shed. What? Oh, I'm sure there must be a... It must tell us about the code somewhere else later. There's no way I'm trying to guess that. Something will probably happen, and I'll probably end up dead, and I don't want to end up dead, do I now? So... Yeah, what, one thing I like about this is the fact that it's set in a standard house, like a modern house. It's not some stupid... Oh, I'm going to turn the light on. Um, yeah, it's uh, not some stupid little, like, thing where you're in, like, a big mansion or anything. Oh, Grandma's not. As you're reading this note, I'm dead by now. Please don't be sad and pay attention to what's written in this note. I had discovered something beyond imagination, indescribable to your senses of your world. I left my will within notes and puzzles that will help you understand. Search the clock for a key. All right, you, you go, Grandma. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh no. Oh, there we go. You something the clock. You discovered a small piece of metal behind it. It's a key. You take it. Okay. So now I have a key. I'm not sure what it's for. Oh, hmm. Let's look upstairs. Uh. Chemistry books. I suppose that means chemistry. Okay. Bathroom. Seems pretty standard. Turn all the lights on in the house there. There's quite the the noises in this game are quite eerie. <gasps> Holy shit! <sighs> Fuck. Oh my god. Wow. Well played, Heritage. I just shit my pants. That was nice. Oh, I've got a laptop battery. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> this wall wasn't here last time I visited Grandma. Oh, God. It's going to be something to do with the wall, isn't it? Turn on. Turn on. Oh, yeah. Light up this house. The way you light up my world like nobody else. It's probably not even the words. I just got here, I want to meditate and look the loss. Okay. Hmm. Nothing in there. Come on. Come to sleep, okay? Nope, doesn't seem to be anything. Theodore Kaluza. Yeah. Close the door so I can turn the light on. Aha! And a good thing about this game as well is it has saves. It has saves. Which means that I can actually save and complete, go on with this further. Um, 
pretty sure that's the Minecraft noise when you like get rid of shovel. Get rid of shovel? What? That didn't work. I don't even know what I'm doing. Try. Well, let's leave it because we still don't know what to do with it. Um, I guess we really need to find out where the key is for. We did actually get a key, if you remember. Um, phone doesn't work, of course it doesn't. This is a horror game. If the phone worked, the game would be too easy. Okay, so where, where else do we go? Am I just being like an idiot? Bin, can't reach it. Oh, what? I can pick the bin up. Why do I need the bin? Oh, dude. Grandma was smoking. Mmm, Grandma. Jewelry box. Um, what, how do I get my inventory up again? Oh, okay. Uh, oh! Wait, can, can I drag? No, how do, how do I use things? There we go. Does that not work? Oh, okay, okay, use. Wait, no. Use. Okay, use with this. <gasps> you open the jewelry box. You find a note inside. Use. Okay. E. Okay, now close that down. Uh, notes. Jewelry box note. Look at the clock. Hour will tell you the row number from below to above. And minutes, what book to read from left to right. Remember on the shelf to the right in the first floor. So look at the hour will tell you the row number. And minutes what to read left and right okay so let's look at the clock All right first row fourth book across okay so upstairs in this thing first row one two three four is it not this one unless it means first row like down here Hypercube. Did, um, am I getting it wrong? It did. It said to the right, didn't it? I appear to be. Oh, you can't move while you crouched. Okay. Let's go. I'll go up here. Intriguing title. No. No. Did I, did I do something wrong? Hold on. Let me go double check what they said. Sorry, guys. Apparently, I'm an idiot. Uh, Nut. Jewelry box now. Look at the clock. Owl will tell you the row number. Oh my god. I'm such an idiot. Okay, yeah, no. Right, the hour is four, the minutes are one. Not the other way around. Apparently, I'm 20 years old and can't tell the time. Okay, so row number four. One, two, three, four, one. Unless this is row number four. No, what? I'm so confused. Crouch. What the hell? No. What book to read from left to right? So it should be row number four. Oh my, I'm such an idiot. I still can't even tell the time. It was five past, so five minutes. Row number four, book number five. Where's row number four? Is it this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, no, four, no, seven. What was the exact time? Oh, it's supposed to be the correct book. Copy the map text onto my notebook. I don't need to keep reading that book anymore. Okay, nurse. Physics book. Jeez, sorry about it, guys. Good God. A point in space wouldn't cast any shadow, then a line will cast a simple dot. A line will be the shadow of a square. Notice how 3D object reflects 2D shadow. Lastly, we can imagine the shadow of an object 4D, 5D counting times a dimension being a 
and the rest of the text is struck and imagine a question is drawn. What, what's the question? Oh, okay, it doesn't, it doesn't tell you the question. Um, is there anything I can use here? Why am I carrying a bin? Very good question. <laughs> Um, I guess I'll go back downstairs and have a look. Hold on, it's nothing to do with this, is it? Um, let me have a look at the note. Physics book. A point in space wouldn't cast any shadow. Then a line will cast a simple. I find this space wouldn't cast any shadow. So nothing, then a line, and a dot. A line would be the shadow of the square. Notice how a 3D. Oh fuck! I have no idea. That's difficult, man. I, don't know, I can't read it while I'm here. Which is a bit annoying. Okay, so here's this book. A point in space wouldn't cast any shadow. Then a line will cast a simple dot. So nothing, then a line and a dot. Is that right? So nothing. Then a line, then a dot. Okay, we're getting there. Nothing, line, dot. A line would be the shadow of a square. Lastly, we can imagine the shadow of a 4D object, 5D being here. So. Does that mean that's a square? Try that didn't work. Okay, let's do this. That didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. Okay, so wait, let's do square there, then line, then dot. Um, I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm very, very stuck. So with that, anyway, that's been 10 minutes. 12 minutes. Oh, God. Okay, so that's been the, this is going to be the end of the first episode of Heritage. I'm definitely interested in playing more of this. It seems really intriguing, awesome. So, if you guys like this, leave a like. If you can work out what the hell to do, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode of whatever game the hell I play. Bye, guys.